Well, you're not gonna see Mike get hurt against Jake Paul. That's why they put on 16 ounce gloves and headgear. They didn't put that on to protect Mike. They put that on to protect Jake. <laughs> I'm a little scared because it is Mike Tyson, and I feel like when I look across the ring, I'm just gonna be like, have a wow moment. Roy Jones Jr. has just predicted the upcoming fight between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul, and it appears that he has a brutal warning for Paul. So I think the 16 ounce gloves and the headgear are not there to protect the legend of Mike Tyson. They're there to protect the young kid who knows not what he does by stepping in the ring with Mike Tyson. Moreover, Anthony Joshua holds hope and sends his prayers for Mike Tyson's well-being. Acknowledging the unconventional edge Paul might possess, Joshua remains steadfast in his concern for Tyson's health above all else. AJ said, Tyson is older now. I pray that he comes out healthy. I think Jake Paul wins because of youth. That's the only thing. As you can see, AJ finds himself grappling with a blend of conflicting emotions surrounding the impending showdown. When discussing the realm of influencer boxing in broader terms, AJ further commented, I personally think it's really good. I think the boxing hardcores don't like it because they think, why are they disrespecting our sport? But I think that influencer brings all these people into boxing, which benefits everyone else. Everyone viewing helps. Amidst the flurry of perspectives surrounding the impending clash, British boxer Dave Allen's viewpoint stands out as particularly condemning, echoing the sentiments of many. With Tyson at 57 years old, he's set to square off against a youthful pugilist who, despite lacking professional recognition, is currently at the peak of his abilities. Dave Allen, in an interview with TalkSport, articulated his concerns as follows. As far as the Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul fight goes, I think it's dangerous. Mike Tyson is one of the greatest heavyweights that ever lived, but at 58 years of age, he shouldn't be getting hit. There are only a handful of scenarios that might lead Mike Tyson to withdraw from this event prior to July 20th. The most glaring possibility is if he sustains a significant injury during his training regimen leading up to the bout. That would undoubtedly be the primary factor prompting his withdrawal. Alternatively, personal issues or unforeseen medical conditions could also force Tyson to reconsider his participation as the event approaches. Allen added, Jake Paul is a young man, he's in shape, and he's ended up being a half-decent professional boxing prospect. So for me, it's dangerous, and it shouldn't be happening. On the other hand, Mike Tyson received a grim prediction. Regardless of his rigorous training regimen, he's destined to endure just two rounds against Jake Paul in their upcoming bout. Barry Hearn, the president of Matchroom Sport and father of boxing promoter Eddie Hearn, expresses serious concern over Mike Tyson's return to the ring, viewing it as a perilous decision. It's going to make a huge amount of money. Yeah. You can understand Netflix's approach. And Tyson could, could win, by the way. I mean, he's still in pretty yeah, massive if, shape. If, if he's he still got a big punch. Despite his reservations, Hearn acknowledges the substantial financial incentive behind the fight and understands Netflix's strategic perspective. He emphasizes the high stakes for Tyson, suggesting that if the match extends beyond a quick victory, Tyson's chances diminish significantly. Tyson acknowledged that the upcoming bout would be officially classified as an exhibition, but he swiftly brushed aside speculations, suggesting that both he and Paul would don headgear and wield 18-ounce gloves. Eddie, in the past, has belittled Paul's boxing prowess, branding him as merely average. He reiterated sentiments akin to those expressed by others when discussing the impending match. Oh, I think that we live in a crazy world, don't we, where, you know, we, we it, that, that younger generation is built off views, built off narrative, built off controversy. And as a hardcore fight fan, someone that's been around boxing since I was nine years old, I find, I find it disgusting that a 58-year-old man 59, yes. who, who was my hero growing up. Eddie stated that from a financial perspective, considering the amount of money Tyson was paid or partially paid throughout his career, it was understandable for him to enter the ring with a 25-year-old who couldn't really fight. He mentioned that he had spoken to the Netflix team and believed they were not fond of his criticism of the event. He expressed his honest opinion that the event would sell, people would watch it, and it would be a significant event, but he personally did not approve of it. From a, from a financial point of view, with the amount of money that that man was paid, or par partially paid during his career. You know, to get in the ring with a 25-year-old guy, you can't really fight. But for me, I understand it, you know, and uh, you know, speaking to the, the Netflix guys the other day, I don't think they like my criticism mm -hmm. of the event. I'm never gonna lie to you. I'm never gonna sugarcoat it. I'm just gonna give you my honest opinion, which is it will sell, people will watch, it will be a big event, 
and I don't like it. Jonathan DiBella, the reigning one straw weight kickboxing world champion, has shared his insights and prediction for the imminent boxing showdown. DiBella dropped a bombshell, declaring his allegiance to Tyson over Paul when it comes to writing. He elucidated his decision during his latest feature on the Calf Kick Sports YouTube channel. He said, Mike Tyson all day. He's getting him. Yeah, I can't say no to Mike. Doesn't matter what age, he's still gonna have that punch. The choice of the Canadian-Italian sensation is quite understandable. However, Jake Paul is leaving no stone unturned in his training regimen to assert his dominance over Tyson. With a firm belief that this bout will be the pinnacle of his career, Jake is determined to present his absolute best when facing off against Tyson. In pursuit of peak performance, Jake turned promoter recently undertook rigorous training sessions alongside Olympic-level boxers at the high-altitude Colorado Springs Olympic and Paralympic Training Center, situated at an impressive elevation of over 6,000 feet. <laughs> In his most recent upload, Jake Paul showcased his might by engaging in a physical confrontation with none other than the renowned Gucci Gang sensation, Lil Pump. Positioned at the heart of the ring, the rapper stood ready, but Paul swiftly delivered a forceful blow to his midsection. Writhing in agony, Lil Pump crumpled to the canvas, his cries echoing through the arena. Oh! I told you I have to do it. Oh. Oh. Oh, fuck. <laughs> In a recent interview that has garnered significant attention, Jake Paul made a bold claim that he believes he can punch at the same level as boxing legend Mike Tyson. The statement, made amidst growing buzz ahead of the matchup between Paul and Tyson, has ignited debate and discussion within the boxing community. I don't get why people, like, there's, it's very 50 50, but to the people that don't think I'm gonna win, it's like, I'm younger, faster, sharper, and, and hit, can hit at the same levels that, that he can and t be able to take his punches. So. Paul, known for his brash and confident demeanor, has never been one to shy away from making bold predictions and statements. However, comparing his punching power to that of Tyson, one of the most feared heavyweight champions in boxing history, takes his self-belief to a new level. You got balls, like, step in a ring with Mike Tyson, boy? It is, it is definitely a lot to, to you face got this, and go man. up against, but... I think I'm just like wired differently to like, I, I just feel like it's like destiny for, to, for me to be involved in the sport. Like However, Roy Jones Jr. insists that Paul is in for a rough night against Tyson. Jones Jr., the final individual to face off against the renowned boxing icon in the ring, asserts that it is Paul who warrants safeguarding. Joining Darren Bent and Troy Deeney on Talk Sport Drive on Thursday afternoon, RJ said, <laughs> You know, we'll have Mike get hurt. Oh. <laughs> when I was in the name of Mike, we wouldn't worry about Mike getting hurt. We worry about me getting hurt. I'm a small guy. <laughs> for us, his weight players. So yeah, we don't want to see legends get hurt. I didn't want to get hurt, but I would refuse to turn down the opportunity to share a ring with Mike Tyson. It's just something I was not going to do. Roy Jones Jr. commented that there is a concern when you pair two older legends together, as sometimes their egos can emerge and they might attempt to harm each other. However, in the case of Jake Paul facing Mike Tyson, Jones Jr. believed that Jake Paul is not skilled enough to harm Mike Tyson. You know, you, you do have to worry about that in a sense if you put two legends in the ring together, two older legends, sometimes the egos come up and they do they will try to hurt one another. But in this Jake Paul situation, I don't think Jake Paul is good enough to hurt Mike. He acknowledged that Jake Paul might be powerful with 10-ounce gloves, but if both were wearing 10-ounce gloves, Mike Tyson might also be able to harm Jake Paul. Jones Jr.'s opinion was that Mike Tyson would likely inflict more damage on Jake Paul than the other way around. Jones Jr. added that the headgear and the 16-ounce gloves are not meant to protect the legendary Mike Tyson. Instead, they are there to protect the young kid who might not fully understand the risks of stepping into the ring with Tyson. Mike uh, he may be powerful enough if they had on 8-ounce gloves or 10-ounce gloves, but also if they had on 10-ounce gloves, Mike might hurt him. I think my chance would be to bet that Mike would hurt him more so than he would hurt Mike. Online speculation suggested that the upcoming bout might feature 16-ounce gloves and headgear. However, respected MMA journalist Ariel Helwani recently disclosed that the match will follow a rule set akin to Tyson's previous encounter with Jones Jr. in 2020. That evening, devoid of any head protection, both individuals engaged in boxing, donning 12-ounce gloves. However, Jones Jr. thinks that Mike Tyson won't get hurt in his upcoming fight. Words whatsoever. Like I said, the head getting 16-ounce gloves, 
That's not to protect Mike Tyson, that's to protect Jake Paul. Understand that. Moreover, Roy Jones Jr. believes that facing off against the ferocious Iron Mike might prove to be a daunting task for Paul. Following his experience with Tyson, Jones Jr. issued a warning to Jake Paul. If he hits anybody square on the chin, it's going to be problematic. I don't care who it is. If it's a fight, it's very interesting how it may turn out. He admitted that Paul has improved with each fight. But Mike Tyson, even at 58 or however old he is, is still Mike Tyson. When I boxed him, he still punched like Mike Tyson. Jones also warned, if Mike comes out and does what Mike normally does, then it's going to be a tough situation for Jake. Jones admitted that he likes Paul and considers him to be a good guy, who is doing well with his boxing endeavors. He believed that the situation is a good promotional opportunity for both Jake Paul and Mike Tyson. Jones said, I like Jake Paul, he's a good guy, and he's doing good with his boxing stuff. I think it's a good promotional situation for him and Mike. They should get really good numbers, especially having upgraded to a real fight. Finally, he considered that there is still hope for Paul. If Jake can stay away from him for four or five rounds, then Jake has a chance, but he's going to have to do a lot of maneuvering to stay away from him. During one of his podcast sessions, Jake Paul conceded that he might have taken on more than he could handle. He said, this is definitely the toughest, most savage, lethal opponent regardless of age because power is the last thing to go. Meanwhile, Roy Jones Jr.'s perspective illuminates a clash that spans generations, and according to him, it's nothing short of beautiful. In an enlightening conversation on Fox News, Roy Jones Jr. Jr., tapping into his wealth of experience, wasted no time in sharing his perspective. Well, it was an experience, he commenced, laying the groundwork for his reflections. He depicted Tyson as a phenomenon, untouched by the passage of time. Mike Tyson is still one of the most devastating people on the planet, Jones emphasized. His admiration for Tyson's enduring prowess was clear as he said, he's still the person that everything will stop to see what he does. He acknowledged Jake Paul's achievements, but highlighted the immense challenge ahead. So for me, it's going to be tough for Jake to hit him, but it's going to be very difficult to put a glove on Mike Tyson's chin. Jones admitted, while underlining the peril Jake Paul faces, he added, and if Mike Tyson hits your chin first, it still spells trouble. The second interviewer shifted the focus to concerns beyond the sport. Are you worried for Jake Paul's safety in this fight? They asked, probing the ethical considerations of such a mismatch. Roy Jones Jr.'s reaction was sincere and contemplative. His safety concerns me, he admitted, expressing his gratitude for precautions such as headgear to minimize risks. His viewpoint extended beyond the mere physical confrontation encompassing the broader ramifications of the bout. He added, Shout out to Jake too, though, because Jake made this thing happen. This is something that the world will love to see, because it makes two worlds come together. When you see guys like this get their blessing in life or gift in life, that's a beautiful thing. The ex-light heavyweight title holder elegantly intertwined his reflections with a philosophical essence, drawing parallels between the bout and life's enigmatic yet captivating voyage. He said, Look where Mike's come from, and look where Mike's today. Headlining still at 58 years old. Look Look what Jake come from, and look where Jake is today. He then invoked Conor McGregor's rags to riches story as a beacon of hope. Jones said, These stories are absolutely marvelous. These stories continue to show us that God has to exist. Conor McGregor, one of my favorite people, came from a plumber to see where he is today. Disregarding all criticism, Mike Tyson remains unfazed as he gears up for his upcoming boxing bout against Jake Paul. Numerous analysts and seasoned athletes voiced their apprehensions regarding Tyson squaring off against an opponent three decades his junior. However, Tyson confidently asserts that he commands a larger audience appeal compared to the majority of currently active boxers. Tyson said in an interview with Reuters, I'm 58 and what? I'm getting billions of views from just talking to somebody from fighting. Everybody, even most of the athletes, they're jealous. That's whack. He's 58, he's 57. I say in your prime, you couldn't draw a million people, man. What are you talking about? You couldn't sell out an arena. Who, at 58, could sell out an 80,000 seat arena? Tyson expressed that many people, including most athletes, are jealous of his success. He dismissed the criticism about his age by saying that those commenting negatively couldn't draw a million people or sell out an arena in their prime. Tyson added, Why do you think he wants to fight me and not anybody else? Everybody wants to fight him. All the boxers want to fight him. But if he fights them, the only people that will come are the people that like him. The other guys, their parents might not even come to watch them. That's just keeping it real. They're too boring for their children to watch. It's like watching grass grow. In addition, Mike Tyson has quashed all speculations swirling around his upcoming bout. Despite initial murmurs suggesting headgear would be donned by both fighters, Tyson has emphatically dismissed such claims, clearing the air ahead of the anticipated showdown. There's been a lot of rumors out there about the fight that maybe uh, you're going to have 18 ounce gloves, you're going to be wearing headgear. Any no, truth in that? Not true at all. Not true. Not true. No true. Listen, um, this is called an exhibition. But if you look up exhibition, 
you will not see any of the laws that we're fighting under. This is a fight. In anticipation of the upcoming bout, Tyson's workout footage has set social media ablaze. Despite his 57 years, Tyson showcases remarkable speed and formidable power that captivate viewers. Moreover, the boxing legend offered the following reasons for his decision to rejoin the sport in the same Fox News interview. Whatever I'm afraid to do, I do it. And that's how it is. I was afraid to, for the Roy fight. I was scared to fight again. I was 100 pounds overweight. I was however old, 54, 53. And I said, let's do it. Anything I'm afraid of, I, I, I confront it. And that's my personality. Like right now, I'm, I'm scared to death. But as the fight gets closer, the less nervous I become because it's reality. And in reality, I'm invincible. Ex-UFC middleweight title holder Sean Strickland didn't hold back in his assessment of Jake Paul's latest venture into the boxing ring. During an interview with the Schmo, Strickland emphasized the considerable age gap between Tyson and Paul. He passionately expressed his disapproval of Paul's choice to step into the ring with Tyson, citing it as a point of contention. He said, I mean, how old is Mike Tyson? 60? Jake Paul, you are a disgrace of a man. You are the epitome of weakness. You are the scum of the earth. The fact that you even have a platform or anything of that nature is a slight on society. You truly make me disgusted. And if I ever encounter you in real life, I hope that I just don't lose my shit and go to prison. In an Instagram post showcasing an excerpt from his interview with the Schmo, the UFC fighter reaffirmed his position by commenting and assuring his followers that he will address Paul in the days to come. He said, You tried boxing once and lost to a part-time boxer. So now you pick a 60 year old man? I'm glad the world understands you're a weak man. One day, we will settle up. However, former world champion Andre Ward has cautioned Mike Tyson that facing Jake Paul in the ring carries a significant danger. When asked about the fight by Fight Hub TV, Ward said, I don't know, man. It's a spectacle. I'm going to watch it. I see people on both sides like Mike shouldn't be in there. Maybe not. Ward commented that if there's a 58-year-old he's not too concerned about, it would probably be Mike Tyson. He acknowledged the inherent risks in Tyson's life, which have been present since his childhood and continue to this day. Ward added, If there's a 58-year-old that I'm not too concerned about, it's probably Mike Tyson. It is risky. Well, Mike's life is risky. It's been risky since he was a kid until now. Boxing is risky. How are you going to tell a man that's hardwired? The way he's Mike Tyson, you can't tell him he ain't got a shot in that fight. As the countdown to the match continues, the boxing world remains divided. While some anticipate an exciting showdown, others fear the potential risks involved. Make sure to check out some of our other videos on the screen if you enjoyed this one.